right, here we have the three clips that we're gonna do this transition on. Now, down below you'll see a music track. If you wanna cut it to the beat of the music, you can listen to it, you can look at the transients, which are these spikes here in the song, which is usually the drums, and or you can right click on it and select show music beats. So for example, I know the song goes dun 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 dun, and I'm gonna put those transients right here. You guys won't be able to hear the audio, but I'm just gonna show you how you would cut the clip to fit that. Next, grab the clip that you want to transition to and click and drag it above the first clip. Now you'll have to drag it to the point where you want the cutout parts to start the transition because we, we want the final clip to be here showing the entire clip. Then right click on this clip and select new fusion clip. Go ahead and push B on your keyboard to cut the clip. Then with your playhead over this part of the clip, go ahead and click on Fusion. Once you're in Fusion, all you have to do is select this little icon right here, which is the Polygon tool. Click on it. Then over here on the right hand side and select Invert. Go ahead and create whatever shape you want. I'm going to do a few cuts like this. You can do whatever you want. Then go ahead and select Invert once again. With the Polygon 1 node selected, hold down Command and push C to copy it. Then hold down Command and push V to paste it. That will automatically paste the node right after the first one that we just created. With the second Polygon node selected, you can come over here to the right hand side under the center X and Y and move the mask that we just duplicated. Go ahead and repeat that process. Copy the node that we just moved over, paste it, Come over here to the right hand side, move over the mask, copy, paste, move the mask over, and now we have four bars here. Now, what we can do is come back to the edit page. Right here is where I want the transition to start, so I'm going to push B on my keyboard and use the blade tool. I'm going to delete this first part of the clip here, and I'm going to drag the playhead to each count of this part of the song right here. I'm going to push B on the keyboard and slice it. I'm gonna do it again here and again right here. Now, let's hop back into Fusion. Now, if you come up here to the top of DaVinci, you'll see this icon called Clips. Go ahead and select Clips. Now, we wanna have this gradually build up into the final frame. So, on the first clip here, we want only the first one to show up, so therefore, we wanna delete all of the polygons that we just created except for the very first one. Now, move on to the next clip here. We're gonna to wanna to keep the first two. Go ahead and delete the second two. Then, on this third clip down below, we want all three, so we're just gonna delete the last one. And then here on the fourth one, we're gonna keep this exactly the same. So now, we have something like this. Perfect. Next example, we want to transition into this clip here. So let's go ahead and drag this clip above the clip that we just transitioned to. I'm going to overlap it just enough for it to transition. And then I'm going to push B on the keyboard and slice it at the end of this clip here. Then right click on this part of the clip that's going to be transitioning. And we're going to repeat this process, but this time it's going to be a little different. With the playhead over this fusion clip, Go ahead and select Fusion. Highlight the media in one, hold down Command and push C to copy, push Command V to paste. With this first media in one selected, hold down Shift and press spacebar and type in Magic, add the Magic Mask. Go ahead and mask out whatever you want to mask out. So let's go ahead and track forwards and backwards. Next, for this media in here, we're going to hold down Shift and press spacebar and type in Magic. We're going to drag this Magic Mask up here so we can see our entire composition and I'm gonna track just this wall here. Then on the right hand side, track forwards and backwards. All right, now we need to layer them together. So with this magic mask selected, click on this little icon right here to add a merge node and take the output of the second magic mask and drag it into the merge. Drag the media out into the viewer and now you will see we have both these walls masked out. This one didn't do a very good job masking, but for this example, you're getting the concept. Click on the edit page. We're gonna kinda of do what we did before, just cut where you want the mask to come in. I'm just gonna cut it in the middle just to show you guys. Let's go into Fusion. Make sure to turn on clips so we can see which one we're working on. So for this first one, we just want this left wall to be exposed. 
So let's go ahead and delete the second magic mask that we created. And now we just have that one exposed. And then this one has both. Go ahead and click on the editing timeline. Now, when I play it back, it's doing basically the same thing as the polygon in the previous example, but we're using the magic mask. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, how did you make it fly in? Well, I was playing around and I went over to the effects and clicked on the drop down arrow for video transitions. I was navigating around through my JF slide sauce pack, which you can get linked down in the description. So I just dragged the uh, slide right on the th onto the front of the clip and it zooms it in. Boom, pretty cool, huh? You can apply any of these transitions to really any of these, which is really fun. And not only does it work on the front of the clip, but it also can work in the middle of the clip. So if you wanted to do something, you know, like that, you're more than welcome to do it. All right, so then to get this really cool like warp bubble effect thing, come up here and click on effects and scroll down until you see effects. Click on effects and drag an adjustment clip on top of the clip that we wanna have that warp thing happen. Trim the adjustment clip and drag it over the middle. Then click on effects and find the JF Shake Sauce plugin, which you can also get linked down in the description. It's not only a plugin, but it's also transitions that you can drag between two clips, which is awesome. Drag the sauce plugin on top of the adjustment clip. Over here on the right hand side, <clears throat> you have a ton of adjustments. The one I really wanna specifically focus on is the dent amount. You can turn down the dent and also turn up the size. I'm going to open up the adjustment clip and kind of move it to the middle. So now we have boom, boom. Let's go ahead and go up to the effects and select an adjustment clip and drag another one in, trim it up. But this time we're gonna line it up on the start of this bubble warp thing right here. And this is how I created the shock wave. So if you come over here under the effects, I have a shock wave plugin that I also used linked down in the description and you can drag it on top of this adjustment clip. Over here on the right hand side, the default amount is two. Turn it down to one shock wave. Then what you can do is also drag it out so the shock wave is slower and bigger. You can turn down the distort contrast and the distort detail and turn up the distort strength. Then that way, boom, you can get something that looks like that. Pretty cool, huh? All right, now for our last transition here, we're gonna drag this final clip up to the top. I'm gonna drag it over just and overlap it just like we've done before. I'm gonna right click on it and select new fusion clip. I'm gonna cut the clip at the end right here or on the beat of the music, whatever you prefer. Put your playhead over the fusion clip and click on fusion. Go ahead and select a rectangle tool. And that immediately creates a rectangle. You can space this up, you can put it however you want. I'm gonna put one maybe over here. I'm gonna copy and paste this rectangle node and move it now over down here. And I'm gonna do the same thing, copy and paste the rectangle node, move it down and over. Something like, something like that maybe. We wanna animate these, all right? So with that said, click on the edit page and we're gonna splice it up like we did before. We have three, so I'm just gonna do three clips. So I'm just gonna push B on the keyboard and blade these up like that. Let's hop back to the Fusion page. Now we kinda wanna do the same thing as we did before. We wanna separate out each one of these masks. Come up here and select clips so we can see which one we're working on. This is the first Fusion clip. We wanna keep the first one and delete the second two. Click on the second clip. We wanna keep the first two, delete the third. And on the final clip, we wanna keep all of them together. There's a free macro linked down in the description. You can download it and then you can animate these. It's really fun. So feel free to download that. And then once you've done so, you can just drag it on in here and then hold down shift and drag it in between the media in one and the media out. Now you can turn down the overall strength. So it just kind of does that. You can change how much it shakes on the X and Y axis, the rotation, and then also the speed. So if you wanted to just kind of come in real quick, you can do so like that. Then copy the shake sauce macro that you just put in here. Click on the second fusion clip. We're gonna hold down command and push V to paste it. Hold down shift and drag that node in between the media in one and media out. Now this is a duplicate of the previous one. So we wanna come over here and just add, you know, a little variety to what this plugin is doing. So now we have something that looks a little different than the previous shake in. Then we're gonna hold down Command, push C to copy that once again. Click on our third Fusion clip with all the masks and do the exact same thing, add it in, and then just change up some randomness 
and rotation. You can do whatever you want. You could just change the randomness of each one of these and it would just randomize the actual shake. So yeah. So then when you come back here, you can come back and play this through. And to be honest with you, the, the shake is a little slow, but it's, it works. So anyways, yeah, feel free to download anything you want down in the description. I got a bunch of tools you guys can have fun with. And if you have any questions, comment down below. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys in my next video.